plenty of different use cases to uh, duplicate a layer in uh, my maps. I found it difficult to look up because my and maps are quite common words. Um, so the reason I want this is because I've got a nice detailed line here and I want to have a copy of that line so I can make a big fat less detailed line to show to clients you know wh when the drain goes in the tunnel or all that, that kind of thing but there's plenty of different use cases so I want to make a copy of this layer and it, I don't think it matters if it's a line or if it's a, a whole lot of um, points like the stations themselves um, but I've got a line here so I just need to export you, there's no there's no copy but if you just export get a CSV of that um, and then um, make a copy add layer and import and then um, uh, I've got my downloads folder over here and I'm just gonna pull it in there and then you just gotta tell it what column what columns to use so um, it, if you actually look at the CSV file itself it's uh, it's um, all the data is into one little line that one box has all the points on and then it has um, what you're gonna call it in two other boxes and you just gotta tell um, the machine what box to use so the first one um, is always going to be WKT is basically your latitude and longitude for telling it where to place marks on the map yeah so that, and then continue and then name uh, and you know, uh, it's always going to be these, the same ones um, and then it'll just copy your route completely you've got a complete copy there it's just named itself differently so with this one I'm going to name it um, big fat colors um, I'll rename it something more useful later on and now I've got a copy of that line and now I can go into that and say right so um, for for this one I'm actually gonna um, have a big fat yellow line the only things I haven't yet found how to if it's even possible to um, to bring to the front and bring to the back so now I've got a nice big fat yellow line and I can draw over that red where it goes into tunnels etc um, but I will have to then do that has a separate line um, on the same layer um, so I think I'll just have to be copying that and then so there's my line I can then uh, name that whatever and um, change that to being a big fatty and I, I think basically annoyingly it would be nice if Google it just made it so that whatever was on top was um, brought to the front or what well, I can confirm is it doesn't matter what layer it's on or where it's on then let the latter drawed line is always on top which is kind of annoying so I so when you do this try and think of the color you're going to want for the majority on the bottom and then add the other colors on top if you're going to do lines um, but anyway that's the layer du duplicated and that's uh, all I've got to say Bye.